Kyrie Irving, though, is sticking to his opinion that play should not resume. Kyrie and Lakers guard Avery Bradley are leading a players coalition voicing their concerns about the season resuming. So, Shannon, is Kyrie challenging LeBron's leadership here? No, I don't believe he is. I don't think he can because he doesn't have enough years. He doesn't have enough accomplishments in the NBA to challenge someone of LeBron's ilk. Skip, what is happening here with Kyrie Irving? And I don't know, uh, maybe it was the crisis that we've seen unfold over the last little over three weeks. Is that Kyrie Irving is saying, for 400 years, our cries have been unheard. Our tears have gone unwiped. And no light has been shined on us bright enough for someone to see us. And so this is a moment, you know, there's a saying in politics, Skip, never let a great crisis go to waste. And Kyrie Irving is saying, there is something going on that we've got a groundswell of support. Yep. And I'm afraid that if we go back and start playing basketball, all of that will be for naught. People will forget George Floyd. People will forget the Walter Scott, the Eric Gardner, the Terrence Crutcher, Sandra Bland. And I don't Correct. want that to happen. Yep. But what, and I, and I believe LeBron <clears throat> is saying, Kyrie, right now we're kind of out of sight. Yes, the protest is going on, but they don't see us talking about this issue. And not everybody that we're trying to reach, they are not on social media. I believe if you get in this bubble, and now guys are going to talk about it all the time, Skip, I don't believe you will have a game in which somebody wins or loses that they don't bring up, yes, this game is important, sad we lost, happy we won, but there are bigger things than basketball currently going on in our country, and our hearts go out to those that are suffering and continuing this fight. Mm -hmm. I believe two things can be true. I believe that you can play basketball, and you also can protest, Skip, and you can lead a rally of protest. But what they can do is, like, the money that these guys can make, they can go back and help their communities. They can uh, uh, donate to worthy causes. If a locker room, if sports are a microcosm of society, the NBA is divided right now because you got a certain segment of the players that want to go play, a certain player uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the NBA that said, hold up, wait a minute. It's just like American society, Skip. Mm -hmm. it's just, that's just the way it is. Um, I don't think this is a power play on Kyrie, Skip. I don't know when it happens. And you don't really know when things happen in a person's life to make them say, you know what? This is bigger than the game of basketball. There will, people will dribble basketballs one, one, again one day. Yep. I'm not certainly sure that we'll ever have a moment where we have the world's mm -hmm. undivided attention. Nope. Not just the U.S., Skip. I'm talking about the world. Because we saw, we've never seen anything like this before, Skip. There have been a lot of unarmed black men and women killed in America. And I don't know if we've ever seen the groundswell of support we around the world like this. No. And Kyrie doesn't want that moment to go to waste. He does not. LeBron is saying, Kyrie, I promise you, it will not go to waste. We're going to keep, we're mm -hmm. going to keep our foot on the gas. We're going to keep the pressure on. But Kyrie, what you're trying to do, you're not going to unrace 401 years. In four months. Yes, there are going to be some changes, Skip. Yes, you can say, okay, no chokeholds, and you, they're going to have to get this qualified immunity done away with, Skip. But you're going to have to get people in office also, voted in the office, that have your vested interest in mind so you can, look, this is what we did now. You said this is what you're going to do. We're holding you to it. And that's what LeBron's point is. LeBron says we can do two things. Kyrie doesn't believe you can do two things. Kyrie believed that this opportunity will go to waste if they were to start playing basketball. I'm not necessarily sure I agree with that, yep. but I understand his point of view. <sighs> what amazing times we're in. Here we go again with something that is groundbreaking, something I could not have ever envisioned in my lifetime happening. We have a segment of NBA players, let's play, right. and a, a, a growing groundswell of another segment of NBA players who say we cannot play right here, right, right. now. we got air conditioning <laughs> on all my papers and get blown off the desk. That's, it's those, this has yes. never happened in the history of Undisputed. It's happening. I, God, I hear you. I hear uh, you. See. God is saying, about to catch that air. Right. Nose about yeah. to go out the okay. window. So, as I said yesterday, my head is with LeBron on this. Mm -hmm. LeBron wants to play, and I don't blame him. for. I don't condemn him for that. And we need them to play, and I'm, I'm just being honest about this. Our livelihood, this show, depends on them playing and the NFL playing games sooner than later. Right. And yet, oh God, never seen anything like this before. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to function here. Okay. And yet, my heart 
is with Kyrie right. and this players coalition because I love everything they're saying. Right. They sent yesterday to ESPN the equivalent of a manifesto. Yeah. It was blazing hot about it started with COVID. You know, it's just too right. dangerous to play with COVID. But right. then it went. And when it went, it really went. And it went on and on and on to the point it said that we will not just shut up and play to distract us from what this whole system has been about, use and abuse. He's saying, don't, don't let them use you to go entertain them and distract them from the issue at hand. Right. The window, the door has swung open. Yep. It's time. Yep. Seize the day. Right. It's a new day. Maximize it. Don't let it slip away. Don't, don't go to sleep on it. Right. Don't go right back to doing what we were doing before. So Kyrie drummed up a hundred players worth of support on Friday night. Obviously, LeBron did not participate in that Zoom call, whatever right. it was. Mm -hmm. And then they had another one yesterday that, that ESPN reported had 60 players involved, but also had John Carlos involved mm -hmm. from the 68 Olympics. Yep. And for our younger viewers, don't remember, obviously, um, John he Carlos and Tommy Smith. Smith. Yes, Tommy Smith. Yes, they, they're on the medal stand, they, they raised black, uh, the glove. black glove fisted, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in the black power mm -hmm. salute. And it cost them both the rest of their careers, you could argue, you yes. could argue. But they had John Carlos on the call to talk about what he went through mm -hmm. and what, what a great time, what an opportunity you have right now. Right. So not only is it Kyrie, but two of LeBron's teammates, Avery Bradley, Dwight Howard, are very much involved in this movement as far as I know. That's what's been reported. Dwight tweeted about this. Avery Bradley doesn't even have social media accounts, but according to ESPN reports, he is a driving force, a quiet storm behind the scenes with the Lakers. And also in this movement, according to Kyrie in this manifesto, lots of entertainers are involved. Lots of WNBA players mm -hmm. are involved. So it's a mass movement of now is our time. Let's unite and seize it. Right. So to me, you say, is it a threat? Well, I'm not sure yet because I got to see what happens. But it's a potential threat because I'm going to guess that right now more Americans are on the, the Kyrie coalition yes. side than are on the LeBron yes. side. Yes. And by the way, there was a, a quote, an anonymous quote yesterday on ESPN about LeBron, mm -hmm. for what it's worth, and I, I agree with the sentiment of this quote, LeBron is going to make sure every game is played in Orlando because they could have such a huge impact on his legacy. Well, clearly, this I'm, I'm, not, I'm just stating the obvious here. The Lakers are really good. Right. They got the best record in the West. They have a legit shot, maybe the odds-on shot, to win this championship and this sprint to the finish right. line. LeBron is finishing his 17th year, so so clearly, wouldn't you agree he does need to play basketball? Well, I, I mean, is, isn't that a, a sort of a pressing need for his his legacy? Well, Skip, as a guy gets older, he realized that he's closer to the end than the beginning. Sure. There's a reason why Kobe tried to fight through all those injuries, because he knew his time was near. Yeah. There's a reason why Michael, when he was in his 40s playing, he, there are games that he shouldn't have played, but he knew he didn't have much time left. Yep. So you play through. That's with anybody. There's going to come a time when Kyrie, is, if he's lucky enough, knock on wood, is going to get there and all of a sudden he's going to realize, man, I wish I could have played more games. I wish I had I more totally time. I totally agree with that, especially for Kyrie. Yeah. I don't think LeBron's going to have any regrets. No, no, no. He gave it up. No, he, 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 he did. So, so, again, I'm not blaming, condemning. I'm not even criticizing LeBron for saying, yeah, I want to go play. Right. Plus, if you're a player, if you're a star, if it's in your blood, if you're born to play basketball, and I mean this in the most positive way, y your blood tells you, I, I need to go play basketball. Right. It's, what I, it's who I am, what I do, right? right? It's what I do. Right. And Adam Silver said last night on ESPN that we have an obligation to play. We, we don't want to, to, to give the impression that COVID won, you know, right. that COVID beat us, right. that, that we have an obligation to society to go out there and do what we do. Right. So he said, we put on NBA basketball. They do. Right. And it is not a good product. It is a great product. And it just gets better by the dribble. Yep. So we get that. And, and by the way, just to be fair about this, Kyrie's coming from a position of strength because he's not going to play anyway. That, that's he's coming off saying. surgery. Yes. His co-star and best buddy, 
Kevin Durant is coming not, off surgery. Not they are yet. not going to play. Right. So it's easy for them to lead this, especially for Kyrie, to lead this movement. Right. But the movement has teeth, and the movement has purpose, and the movement has timing, because now is their time. Right. And it's going to put LeBron, to me, in an increasingly awkward position. Right. We have not heard a word from LeBron. I told you yesterday, I'm waiting, because when he speaks, I always tell you, I listen. Well, I think the he, thing is with LeBron, Skip, he's already spoken. He's made it abundantly clear. He was on the call with Chris Paul and some yep. of the other superstars when they spoke to Adam Silver, when they had Michelle yep. Roberts, who was the head of the Players Association. Okay, so maybe he's just standing by right. on, he's like, on what okay, he said. Okay, look, yeah. you know where I stand. Yep. That has not changed. Okay. LeBron does not want to come off as being unsympathetic for the cause. But LeBron has said, Skip, if you look at my track record, when Trayvon Martin, I was protesting well, and still playing. I, I, Skip, I've always applauded him. He... He is the number one activist in all of sports. And you remember yes. it was the summer, Skip. He was stumping for Hillary Clinton in Ohio. So, so he says, look, I can do two things. Yep. I believe I we can do I, two I things. It. But Kyrie says, I don't, I don't believe we can. I don't want to lose the attention. But as you mentioned yesterday, John Carlos was on that call. Mm -hmm. Skip, that moment would not have had the impact if it wasn't at the 68 mm -hmm. Olympics. That's why it resonated. That's why they still play it. He could have done that at the Olympic trials. He could have done that anywhere in the world. Yep. The reason why it had that impact is because it had the world's attention. If you go play and you have moments like that, it's going to gra grab the world's attention, it, and they'll understand why you're doing what you're doing. Okay, so some people out there are going to start to think, LeBron, are you putting your self-interest, another championship, right. ahead of the window that's open for all of us? To, to have serious, authentic, lasting change. Right. Social, racial justice can be can be served now if we maximize the moment and we don't focus at all. We do, we aren't distracted at all by basketball. Right. Well, I get it. So so Kyrie's going to have a lot of support. It's hard for me to quantify right. the 50s, 50s sort of support, how mm -hmm. it's going to break down between these two. But look, I've told you this from the start. Kyrie has some resentment of, some jealousy of LeBron. Mm -hmm. Would Kyrie like to be viewed as the leader of the Sure he would. Remember that rubbed in the wrong way in Cleveland? It did. Because LeBron why he left. LeBron could get his guys and they had great access. Totally agree. So now, yes. hold on. Bro, you're not the only person in the NBA. I got a boys too. Yeah. So let me try to swing my weight. And they're trying to swing the weight for for the disenfranchised, yes. for the rank and file player who they say might be afraid to speak out for fear of retribution. Right. Like maybe it's a time. I, I, don't, I don't get that because I think right now anybody can speak in any right. way, shape, or form they want to without any and retribution. And nobody's going to hold it against them. I don't. Yeah. In, the bylaw, in, in the guidelines, I was reading it yesterday. They said, look, if you're a young player and you're at high risk for COVID, you don't have to come and you still get paid. Yep. Okay. I mean, so they they made it as, as, as amenable as they possibly could yep. to try to get guys to play skip look. I don't know how you get it any safer. Now, the NFL got a whole different ball game because at least, Skip, they come to practice at football, go home, go about their day. You're in a confined space. You're in, a, as you said, a bubble. Mm -hmm. Nobody in, nobody out. Mm -mm. So they're making it, they're trying to make it as doable as possible, yep. minimizing the risk while you still can play the game of basketball. And, the, and I think Kyrie is saying, okay, yes, we're in that bubble. So how do we protest in the bubble? How do our voices get heard in the bubble? Well, they get played by by you playing. And yep. when you play, you bring to everybody's attention. Yes, we won the game, but there's a bigger fight that we're going to win and that we want to yep. win that's being played out in America that's not in a bubble. It's on full display for everyone to see. Yep. I believe they can do it, Skip. I really do. Because the, but the question is, at the end of the day, what changes in the next four months would make Kyrie, these 100 players, happy? That's what I want to know, Skip, because if you think the system is going to fall down, you can't tear down a 400-year-old system in, a, in four months, Skip. It's, a, it's impossible. It's impossible. I believe Kyrie and Dwight and, and Avery Bradley, who doesn't say much but is a deep mm -hmm. thinker, mm -hmm. strong-minded, I think they're saying if we withhold what people love that we do, if we keep it from them, it's going to focus even more attention. Now, you can argue it the other way, right. too, because I see the other side, and I'm, I usually just plunge on something, but I, I'm i torn because I have self-interest here, and that's yeah. why I'm, I'm telling you, it's heart versus head, heart versus head. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. 
You think Mitch McConnell, Lindsey Graham, Rand Paul give a damn about NBA basketball? Those are the people that you're going to have to convince. To convince. Those people in Congress. Those are yeah. the people. They're not watching that. They don't care. You, how many games you think President you, Trump has watched since he's been in office? So at you, NBA? Yeah. None? <laughs> exactly. So, I don't know. I, I'm going to guess none. What you're going to have to do, you're going to have to put people in place. Yep. Okay, we're the, so we're going to have to put generals in. Okay, you're going to have to do our bidding. Skip, remember, okay. that's why these lobbyists make the big bucks. Mm -hmm. Because they go before Congress and say, this is what we need to do. If we're going to fund your campaign, if we're going to do this, and you're going to bring businesses to our corporate, yep. we'll bring business to Kentucky. We'll bring business to South Carolina. But this is what we need in turn. Yep. Okay, Black Lives Matter, we're going to have to get some lobbyists. And we're going to have to go to Congress and say, okay, if y'all don't do this, we're going to do that. Okay, I'm just saying, if they didn't play... It would, again, wake people to the fact, wow, they're really serious about this, right? Right. It would create more attention, maybe more, more eyes would open. I could argue that. I don't want that to happen. It would be like almost a death knell for our business. Right. But the point is, to be balanced about Kyrie, a friend of mine called me yesterday and said, Kyrie is out his mind. And it's somebody you know very well who <laughs> knows Kyrie very right. well. And I think about Kyrie, and I respect him because he's a deep thinker, too, right. but he's a little wacky. He's yes, out there, yes. man. And remember, we got Earth is Flat yep. from Kyrie. <laughs> we got a JFK assassination conspiracy theory. We yep. got a Bob, Bob Marley assassination conspiracy theory. That was a failed attempt. We got the, he, he believes, Kyrie and the Illuminati, this power group that rules the world that mm -hmm. might or might not exist. And he believes in UFOs. Okay, so we get all that. Right. But, but he is just the kind of radical thinker right. who could lead the coalition yes. and, and potentially have success with this. Yes. The, the, the radical thinkers, Skip, those are the guys that normally somehow you're like, there's no way anybody's going to follow them. The next thing you know, they got thousands of people following them. Well, that's, that's where we are. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The, the, the world is ripe for radical thinking mm -hmm. at this moment. Mm -hmm. So to me... It's intriguing to see if LeBron responds to this at all. Maybe he just says, I'm above all this. Right. I already told you so. Right. And we're going full speed ahead. But I do think Kyrie is a shrewd enough of an operator that he knows he has LeBron, uh, not, maybe not on the run, but backed a little bit into what, a tough corner. He probably believes that he has uh, LeBron's uh, attention. But yep. LeBron says, the one thing I can't do is make this a me against Kyrie. Play not to play. Yep. I've already voiced how I feel. You know how I feel. I believe we can do two things. Yep. And I believe it gives us an even larger platform because, Skip, they announced those games. I believe they'll have Black, Ma Black mm -hmm. Lives Matter patches. Yep. I believe guys will wholeheartedly, yep. after every game, mm -hmm. then people are going to talk about, can we talk about the game and not talk about the issues? Because I believe yep. the guys are going to talk about the issue. Because most of the players, Skip, that's going in that bubble are black. Yep. The superstars are black. That's just the way it is. Sure. I mean, yeah. with the exception of uh, Luka and, uh, and Jokic, all the rest of the guys, the top 10, 15 players, get for black. Yep. Okay. There's no other real around it. And I believe all these guys in some way, shape, or form has been touched by this. It's, a, it's impacted them, obviously, in different ways, but it's impacted them because they look at it like, hold on, what if I didn't have NBA talent? Hell, that could have been me. Hmm. It could have been George Floyd. I could have been Walter Scott. I could have been Terrence Crutcher. Absolutely. I could have been Trayvon Martin. Mm -hmm. So that could have been my son. That could have been my brother. That could have been my uncle, my dad. So you start thinking and you start like, okay, that basketball is giving me a platform. And I think the thing is that the real life, Skip, is that their voices carry weight. That's why they're, you know, and that's why LeBron says, look, guys, yeah, we carry weight. Mm -hmm. But we carry more weight when we're playing and people see us as opposed to when they don't. Mm. So Damian Lillard was on the Sports Center special last mm -hmm. night on ESPN, another profound mm -hmm. thinker, eloquent speaker. Right. And he summed up my feelings precisely because he was talking about a lot of our hearts as the, the black players, obviously, are, are with our people. Our minds are with our people. And we feel like we should be part of that fight right, right. now. Bingo. So right. this is the conflict here. Right. So he said, that's where our struggle is right now. I think that's where you're hearing a lot of our guys kind of coming out saying, maybe we should be focused on that right now instead of worrying about going back and jumping into the season. And he concluded with Kyrie and Dwight have a point.
Now, he fell on the side of LeBron in the end. He said, as, as scared as I am of the COVID still, mm -hmm. I guess I'm going to risk playing. So, right. so he, his, he's torn, right. but, but he falls on the side of, I, I guess I'm going to go right. ahead and try to play. Right. And I do give Portland a real shot. Right. Be the eighth seed. Right. So, so they do have something to play for. They don't have to catch five skip in okay. those, what, eight games? Yeah, I know. So I, I got it. They basically got to go eight. No. Shot. But I, I do like where they are because mm -hmm. they get Jokic back and, and Zach Collins Zach back. Collins. But whatever. The, now I'm talking about basketball. It seems right. irrelevant. Mm -hmm. But the point is that I heard the conflict in his voice. You know there's conflict yeah. even among the stars right yeah. now. And maybe even LeBron is sitting back. We talked about it yesterday. An another white cop shot a black man running from him in the back yeah. in Atlanta on Friday night. Mm -hmm. yep. Two black men were found hanging from trees in small towns just north of Los Angeles here in the state of California. I think there was another one yesterday in Texas. In Texas, okay. And there was a 19-year-old woman who was a, a, a protester who wound up, they found her dead. And we don't know under mysterious circumstances. circumstances. Mm -hmm. And we could go on and on and on. There are incidents all over the country. It's time. And that's what the coalition group is saying. The splinter group is saying, it's time. Let's stop this right now. So my heart, I, I, I get it. I'm, I'm with them. But I think in the end, I think you and I, our heads are saying we're with LeBron. Right. And yet, I, I think for the first time in his career, he might find himself on the "quote unquote" wrong side of the issue here. Yeah, he I might. Think, Skip. I think there are all there have always been times that even the great protesters of, of our time, Dr. King, probably thought in his room, his hotel room, a lot of time, "Am I doing this the right way? Should I go harder? Should I pull back?" So you really don't know. You just try to take the temperature. And LeBron is saying, "I've done this before. I believe I can do it again. I believe we can do it again. And I believe our voices are amplified." Yep. If we're on television, mm -hmm. to hear Dame Lillard on Sports Center is one thing, but to see him at an NBA game and I, they win the game I after the that. game, can you imagine when he's talking about that? Because Dame is very conscious. Dame is from Oakland. Yeah. He was around, uh, he probably was what, probably 17 mm -hmm. when Oscar Grant's situation happened at the train at the BART station. Mm -hmm. So it uh it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting, Ski. Uh skip mm -hmm. skip mm -hmm. to see where this thing goes over the next two weeks. Cause it's gonna be important because this thing is growing where we thought we had five, ten guys that were kind of hesitant because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Now we got five, ten plus ten times ten. Yep, we do. About this, what's transpired in America. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.